did I meet him first? You know, it, it's, uh, it's modeled because I've sort of known him from the literature for 40 years. And uh, through uh, stories I heard, I heard about uh, his troubles in, in getting chemistry going. Uh, this business about uh, coming to Oviedo and uh, there was a building that had nothing in it. And as he told me last night, not only did it have nothing in it, that things were broken. You know, there were no light bulbs and uh, floors were broken and stuff like that. So I heard about uh, his struggle to uh, raise the money and the interest uh, in uh, getting this institute uh, going uh, from scratch. And that, I think, uh, was phenomenal. And he did this uh, really in a record time. And then with it, I guess at the same time, he attracted uh, talented uh, co-workers that he managed to inspire. So I think part of uh, uh, any successful professor's uh, success in, in his career is that he can inspire uh, young people or co-workers uh, to uh, do the extra you know, and uh, feel that they're part of a bigger operation and he's always been able to uh, transmit that. And that's how uh, I started reading papers coming from him and his group. Um, and uh, it was astounding, really, how uh, Oviedo chemistry and then Spanish, uh, particularly organometallic chemistry, suddenly evolved. I mean, he put it really on the map. Uh, and it's continuing to this day with uh, all these new institutes. And in the last five years or so, or maybe m even longer, the, that it's also became very attractive for foreigners to come and uh, work in, in these institutes. Uh, uh, so that has made it an internationally uh, well-known uh, force uh, in the field. So I can't remember when I first met him. It must have been at some meeting. Uh, and th I have some distinct uh, memories of him visiting Berkeley uh, once. And there was a uh, uh, Barcelona Barca game on. And we had to feed him the results as, as uh, the game was unfolding. That was very funny. Uh, and then. Uh, more than 20 years ago, obviously, I, I met him here and had the longer interactions with him. And you could see at the time already that, uh, you know, how, how his co-workers were flourishing and how they uh, uh, really appreciated his guidance. And of course, part of uh, our exchanges were that he sent uh, two of his excellent people uh, to work uh, in my lab. And my lab is very international, uh, and uh, so they blended right in. And uh, you know, they're at any given moment, they're Chinese, uh, Spanish, English, Italian, uh, what have you, uh, uh, Japanese, uh, and Americans, of course, uh, in the group. Uh, and <coughs> uh, the uh, the language that everybody is supposed to speak is English, because they're supposed to learn it. But, you know, people speak their own languages. And part of my group meetings is that the uh, postdocs uh, or students, when they present their results, that they bring a dish, because we have food and drink at the group meetings, uh, of their home country. And uh, so we had some Spanish uh, stuff, and uh, the French uh, bring unusual um, uh, dishes also, and uh, that adds to the whole atmosphere. And I, I think Jose is very much in the same kind of vein of uh, appreciating the international nature uh, of chemistry. So this is why you know we, we hit it off. We're also really contemporaries. I mean, I started a little earlier, but he was slowed down by setting up his institute. So really, in a way, when we uh, both of us uh, started making an impact on the literature, we were, you know, really contemporaries, uh, and uh, I've appreciated that for the longest time. So, and it's great to see him uh, now. I haven't seen him in in several years, but you know, again, I you know, I scour the web. I I, I found out about the Valvenga lectureship. 
uh, last year and there is stuff on the web on this lectureship uh, and uh, the program uh, Manfred Reitz was the first speaker who's also a little older now, I'm five years older so he's he's really almost the same age I think as Jose but we are all contemporaries because in the American system I started faster and so in a way we're all uh, in the same group and once you get to our age anyway it doesn't matter it's all sort of the same.